For the last two decades, in the remote wide blue isolation of the world's deep oceans, scientists have been quietly deploying three and a half thousand sensors. They call them Argos after Jason and the Argonauts' ship, and their voyage has been every bit as fantastical, plumbing the depths of the seas to discover secrets about how they are changing. The results are shocking. The UN estimated that oceans were warming, but they were off by about 40%. So our results show that the warming is happening much faster. The data has built up a map of ocean temperatures and how they're changing. Before Argo, sea temperature was measured using sensors deployed on copper wires, but it was crude and inaccurate. Now, a new reanalysis of this historical data, together with an extrapolation of the Argo data, has led to an alarming conclusion. Oceans are warming on average 40% faster than the UN estimated five years ago and sea levels could rise by 30 centimetres in the next 80 years. Melting ice caps mean that figure could be much higher. The effect of warming oceans is already evident in coral bleaching events in places like Australia. But this new analysis paints a bleak picture for other marine life. Experts say animals like turtles and sharks are already being affected by warmer waters. We're all at that tipping point in terms of we know there's going to be permanent change. And fast changes like we're talking about here really does kind of lay some, some of the sort of finishing blows to sort of a punch drunk ecosystem. Scientists say our oceans are warming much faster than previously thought. And the rules recently agreed at the Climate Change Conference in Poland are nowhere near radical enough not just to tackle the climate crisis we already know about, but the oceanic catastrophe that is emerging that will affect us all. As well as affecting marine life, warmer oceans will tend to lead to more powerful hurricanes. As this process speeds up in Britain, we can expect more floods, storms and extreme weather. We're seeing that climate change is already impacting the oceans, it's impacting people on land with more extreme weather um, and you know we all rely on healthy oceans through food security, um, coastal communities rely on the ocean and it regulates our, our global climate so we really need to be listening to scientists um, and urgently stepping up action on land and sea. The evidence from the deep is now indisputable. The challenge is acting on it. Dan Rivers, News at 10.